Hi everyone, it's Chrissy again with part two for the conflict and communication brief. Um, just finishing up a little bit on some of the steps for effective communication. Um, now some of you might have looked at this and thought, oh my goodness, like there are actually conversations and communication that we have to have in the military that require no feeling. I'm with you there. I completely understand. Um, the radio is not a good time to talk about your grief that you experienced when your father died. Um, there is a certain etiquette and there's a certain time and place to have these longer conversations. Um, what I would just suggest for leaders and for, um, for everyone really is if you have a conversation that's taking longer or isn't appropriate for the context, um, just say, hey, I would really like to have this conversation with you and I would like to talk to you a little bit more about some ways that I might um, refer you somewhere else. Um, but now is not the time. Why don't we um, catch you, meet back at 1300 or something to the effect, okay? Um, the thing is, units will feel more cohesive if people feel heard and understood. And sometimes we really have to address people's feelings, maybe not overtly. Um, it can be just as simple as, as it, wow, if that happened to me, I would be really frustrated about that. I can understand why you feel discounted um, after a situation like that. And it doesn't have to be that deep. But when you say that, and I feel understood, that's where we start to have more of a connection. Um, and that makes more cohesive units and it makes for um, a better team. So that's just why I bring that up. Try it in your personal life um, and see how it works. Just see if it works for you, okay? Um, the other thing that I'd like to bring up is that we have, and I don't have a printout of it, I'm sorry, but we have an, a wellness screener at Fleet and Family. So sometimes people will come to achieve or a first class and they just have an issue, but they can't really quite identify what the issue is. They just overall feel depressed or overall feel upset or overall feel like something's off. The wellness screener was developed by our counseling department to kind of help people understand what's going on. So for example, we've had people come in for counseling at Fleet and Family. They wait two weeks for an appointment, um, but they were told by their command to go in for counseling. And when we dive a little bit deeper, it's something to the effect of like a young sailor um, was overwhelmed. They saw him or her crying at the workspace and the command got nervous and just said, go talk to Fleet and Family, go talk to a counselor. Well, that sailor, when we go through counseling, when we talk with them, they actually weren't suicidal. They actually weren't having um, an emotional problem. They didn't need to be seen for counseling. They were just really stressed and overwhelmed about a financial crisis. So they kind of wasted a, an appointment at counseling when they could have gone and seen um, a personal financial manager at Fleet and Family. Um, so the wellness screener is something that we can send to you. You can have it in your command, and it's one of the ways you can kind of help people identify some of their areas of weaknesses, and I like to say more so areas uh, for opportunities for improvement. All right? So that's um, one thing that I would, I would suggest reaching out to us for. So I'm going to come back a little bit later for um, conflict resolution, okay? And conflict is also an opportunity for imp improvement, so check back up for that.